I want to put this cover back over the valve body here, but I don't want to do that until I check the main pressure valve. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so this this is my pressure gauge. goes up to 5,000 PSI. I've got a couple adapters on here going from, I don't know, I think like quarter to three-eighths to this adapter here that goes from uh, NPT to DIN and then here I have male DIN that is the M16 I think by one and a half thread pitch I think so in theory the end of this should thread in to the end of this right here and I'm going to be using my auxiliary hydraulic line to do the pressure the reason I'm doing that is because this thumb is far less dangerous to have fall because of a loss of hydraulic pressure than the main boom or the dipper or really even I guess the bucket um, because if you're not thinking and you disconnect a hydraulic line say for the main boom and say it's up in the air and you disconnect it that boom's gonna fall could kill you too if you're underneath of it so I don't know in my opinion I think the auxiliary hydraulic line is the safest thing to use which you know on most units this is capped off when you buy them and then if you put a hydraulic thumb on like i did then you just hook in your new line to that but in most cases this is capped off so all you gotta do is remove that cap stick your uh pressure gauge in there and you're good to go now i didn't use tape on anything i don't know if i'm supposed to but I guess if it leaks or something, I guess I'll have to take it apart and put tape on, but. Okay, I got a 17 mil and a 19 mil. 17 is for this adapter right here. This might drop, I can try and show that. Don't want the hydraulic oil to get in your eye either, so you gotta be careful doing that. And with the amount of air in this line too, it might not be so bad, but. Huh, that's interesting. I guess because this is the feed side and the other side is the return, I guess, I guess whatever, but I don't know a lot about hydraulics. Cool, it actually works. I actually ordered the right thing. A miracle. Okay. Let's get this thing fired up. I am hoping that this is a really cheap gauge, so I'm really hoping that this is accurate. You know what I just realized? Before I start this thing, I should probably cap this, but thankfully I did buy a cap and plug set for DIN, so I'm gonna do that now. I got, this is M16. Seventeen mil. Nineteen. All right, cap that off. That's a lot safer. He's on there tight or this thing ain't gonna read right. Okay, try this again.
I had a hunch that this thing was okay. So I'm looking at about 2,600 PSI. If I remember right, 2,600 PSI is good. I doubt that information is going to be in this uh, in this manual. Uh, work principle, basic structure of hydraulic system. I'm going to look it up on the internet. Okay, so according to multiple sources on the internet, the EGT QH12R is basically between 2300 and 2600 PSI which in my case it is about 2600 so really no need to adjust anything which is great news because I really didn't feel like messing with that main pressure valve but at least I know now that I'm operating at the correct pressures if this only registered at say like 2000 then it would be underpowered and I would need to turn that up to give my hydraulic system more power. But I'm happy with that, that's good. Obviously this thing leaked a little bit. There is a lot of pressure under this, so whatever. But I don't think that skewed my results. If there's a solid stream of hydraulic oil squirting out of this, then yeah, it's, you're not gonna have the correct reading. But a few drips is no big deal to me. So we're good. So I am happy that this cheap little gauge actually functioned properly. If it would have read like 4,000 or 500, then it would have been like, yep, it's a piece of crap, doesn't work. I'm genuinely surprised that it worked pretty well, actually. Because it only cost me like 15 bucks on Amazon, I think. This is a Measure Man brand. So, let's hope this thing doesn't shoot off of there. Being that just a little bit ago, there's 2,600 PSI on this. So I'm gonna look away cracking this because I don't want any hydraulic fluid getting near my eyes. these back up this is m16 down to m14 both one and a half thread pitch this little adapter between these two came with my thumb kit and I contacted the seller uh, to make sure that he included it because if you don't have that adapter and your auxiliary line is m16 then you're in trouble Cool. Double check this. Okay, we're good. We're good. As I always say in my videos, I don't really have how-to videos. I just have videos of me doing things because I'm not an expert on anything. I do believe this is the main pressure valve right here. So had this reading on this pressure gauge been wrong, whether too high or too low, I would have had to leave this gauge on that line and I would have had to come back here and adjust this. Uh, I would love to show how that's done, but I honestly don't know. I haven't done it and I'm glad I don't have to, but at the same time, if I did need to adjust this, then I would know how to do it. But I don't fix what's not broken, so I'm not messing with that because I don't know what I'm doing. But if the time comes and I feel this machine loses power, since I've done this before, I can always hook this back on, see what the PSI's at, and if it's uh, for some reason off, I don't know how it would change PSI without actually changing this, but I guess if the time comes and I need to adjust this, then I'll have to learn how to do it from somebody who knows what they're doing, and then I'll try it. But for now, I'm not touching it. <laughs> 